So after flying this new FPV drone from DJI for a few days, I can't say anything else than that I love flying this small Cinewhoop. It's not the smallest one, but coming from the DJI FPV drone, it definitely feels lighter. It's also a lot easier to fly in manual mode compared to the DJI FPV drone, which is way more sensitive on the sticks. But I think it was after my first flight with the DJI Avada that I started to see a big issue. I've already found a major fault which can potentially destroy my drone. I have no idea why they decided to place the micro SD card slot and the USB C connection inside the prop cards and so close to the propellers. I mean, it's terrible, and they should have placed it anywhere else on the drone. Now the issue with this is that you might risk damaging your drone when flying if the compartment door is not properly locked. Even if it's off by the propellers, if it's not 100% closed, it can loosen due to wind or vibration during a flight. And if it does whilst midair, imagine the outcome. It's just, you know, it's terrible. It's terrible. Now looking at the bottom of the drone here, there's a lot of different places that they could have placed the compartment door for the USB-C and the SD card slot. Something like underneath the battery or integrate it into the sensor part and make that slightly longer or wider. Anywhere else would be fine, but they went for the worst place ever. Now trying to connect a USB-C cable or remove and place the SD card, you just want to tear off the propellers really. It's one of the most annoying places to connect or change the SD card in any drone that I've had, or even any device. But the worst part is it being so close to the propellers. Now this, don't, don't get me wrong, this won't make me hate the drone, it's the flying experience and the quality it provides that counts, right? But this could become a really big issue and may cause some serious damage at worst. So I just wanted to make some awareness around this just in case you're considering getting one or is about to take off for the first time. Despite the bad location of the USB-C and the SD card, I'd rather spend 10 minutes trying to change the SD card and connect the USB Type-C cable and have the immersive flying experience that I now have than having a bigger drone which is more chunky to travel with like the original DJI FPV drone. Now compared to the DJI FPV drone, it's also much easier to get around. I can even fit my Sony a7S III and the goggles version 2 in my backpack, which I'm not able to do when taking the DJI FPV drone for a spin. So again, I just wanted to raise some awareness around this issue that I've experienced. My best tip though is to double check the compartment door before you take off. It's definitely something that I will keep my eye on both before and after each flight. But the overall first flight experience with the Avada and flying it compared to the DJI FPV drone still makes it worth the money. It's slow in comparison, but it's also targeted towards cinematics. So you'll have a slower drone, but it's more enjoyable to fly. And it's also a lot easier than the original DJI FPV drone. So it's a lot easier if you're just getting into FPV and you want to try this out. So it's definitely the best beginner FPV drone out there. Now, I will soon have my in-depth review of the DJI Avada, so make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on that one. And whilst you're on it, give this video a like for the algorithm, that would be really appreciated. So that's gonna be everything for today. Let me know down in the comment section if you have any other issues to report. And until next time, take care and I will see you soon.